All right, guys, this is what it's come down to. We are still ranked number one, but Rayman, of course, shout out to Rayman, won a bunch of games literally the night before. I don't think he's played in the last 12 hours. Just have a look real quick. So he stopped playing at around 8.30 my time, which was, yeah, which is 13 hours ago. No one else is really close at this point. Uh, I know your nightmare playing is playing a bunch of games, but we are in a really sticky spot where if I lose, then I'm not ranked number one and he doesn't have to do anything. But if I leave it and he wins a game, then, then, you know, he overtakes me. So, and obviously the odds of him winning a game is 66%. So it's probably not the right idea to just leave it. There's only 54 minutes left. I'm actually very interested to know why he's left it for this long. Maybe it's a little bit of a mind game thing because I basically need to play a game, right? Otherwise he just wins and, and steals the number one spot. Uh, if I lose the game, it's gonna suck guys, but I think this is, this is the way we're supposed to win it. This is how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be easy to just, you know, walk by the finish line. You gotta have a bit of, a bit of courage here. You gotta play a game. Yeah, really, I can only play five games. So if I lose one, it's really bad. I think I can only afford to lose one. Yeah, I mean, if I lose a game now, I basically like, because uh, it takes about, on average, probably 10 minutes a game. And for me, probably a little bit longer because I'm really trying to lock in. So I really just need to win the first game. That's a, that's a lot of, a big part of it is winning this first game. Ah, <sighs> man, I'm feeling good. I, I was playing on the Black Clover account last night and I won like seven out of 10 games or something like that. So I was feeling good then. At least if I win the game and he loses one, I probably should have it if he loses just one game and if I can win the next one. A lot of you probably, a lot of you might disagree with me playing a game, but I think it's better to just play the game and get in front by two wins instead of one. Put the pressure back on him. And yeah, guys, let's get it. All right, guys, and we are in Tom Riddle. Okay, let me think here. I almost have to play this, don't I? So then he doesn't get brick. So it is a good first pick, yo. Yeah. All right, guys, this is it. Our placement's down. We do have the ore here. Unless he takes 629 or 9102, then, oh man, I got to lock in here, guys. I don't lag out. Yeah, so 659. Wow, is he going to take 629 with this? Surely not. 845. Yep, so we do start with the ore, which is definitely an advantage here. And we can build into 629, which is pretty huge. We're both on the four, which is really nice as well. If I can cut this off, it's amazing too. Starting with the ore is a big advantage. And I think we have better expansions here as well. So let's see what we can do here. He's got a road and a wheat. First seven is good. Nice. Need these nines to really pop early. Four is good. He has settle with nine. So that's the settle for him on 6311. Now he, he's forced into taking it here as well. And I haven't rolled a seven. So this is good. I think I'll probably take 843 first. Yeah. We double the ore, we double the weight, and we double the brick. It'd be pretty unlucky if he was to manage to get three roads. 10. Need another four here. 11 is good. We should probably pop. We haven't rolled a seven yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Two sevens. Wow. Okay. He also does have all for, uh, up for grabs here. Yeah. So that is our subtle. So good shot at stealing everything here. I think I do play the knight. I haven't rolled a seven yet. And I'm going to hit the five here. Nice. We get a wheat. That's fine. We'll pass. He's rolled two sevens. Nine. He's going to buy a dev now. God, should we have not passed, guys? Nice. Hopefully he doesn't steal the ore. Does get knight. Not the ore, please. He does nick the ore, but we will be able to... Maybe still... I think it's still the five here. 
Nice. We get the wheat. Huge. Massive block as well. Four is massive. 11 is good. He's got two ore. We just need no sevens here. I still haven't rolled a seven. He's going to go down there. There's my seven. It's not the best time. I probably just have to block the six here. Nine is also valid. Okay, we'll block the nine. Nice. We grab an ore. Okay, this is a huge, huge roll here. Especially if nine can roll, right? Five, damn. Three. Oof. This is kind of sticky now. I shouldn't be. I think I don't. I don't think I port here. This could be. This could be game changing. I've only rolled one seven as well. This could lose me the game here. I think we pass. Nice. That's the city. Don't seven. Perfect. Yeah, we, I think we grab city here always. It's way too good, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty, really good city there. Six happens, so we haven't blocked a nine, which sucks. He sh shouldn't have three roads here. Porting for an ore. Eight. Oh, we really need a four to pop off here. Nine is really good. Nice block. I believe he's waiting for the sheep. There's the seven. Good chance of stealing ore here, which is massive. I think we still just block the five. The wood is also another city. Yeah, I think we should probably just take it. It's also a dev. But if we get a VP, I don't love it. And with two cities, I think we're doing really well here. We just need to get this road down. Massive 10. Yeah, that's huge. Grab a knight. Perfect. Three is massive. I really just want to get this road down. This should be his city. Nicely done. Nice five block. I think we just continue to pop here. My mono is massive. Yep, this is fine. He seals wood. And we keep the five blocked. For sure here. Wood is perfect. Roll the four. Six happens. So no knight now. There's the four though. Huge roll. Another four. Wow. All right. We can comfortably just come in here, I think. Into this 629. He's holding a lot of brick. It's okay. 12 rolls. There's the two pop. Seven's not that bad for us. Yeah, he's struggling for wheat. That's his settle though. Nicely done. Okay, we roll the seven. It's weird because like, I want to block 11 low key. The mono is bat is really big. Nice six block. Eight happens. Okay. There's the seven. It's not that bad. He block nine, but we still have the 11. So it's really not a huge block. We really need tens, don't we? Five happens. That's his wheat. Maybe I build a road there. I'm still at 10 cards though if I do that. He's going to nine, 10. Don't seven. Nine does get blocked. I think what we're doing here is we're just, we wait probably for the mono. We grab the six to nine. Or even just the three to one right and grab more sheep is fine with me. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just makes us a little bit more flexible here. One weight in hand. Five pops. I think we just mono the ore when it happens. He's also holding a lot of wheat here. Eight. Okay. All right. We're in a pretty good position here, but I've lost these games before. We really need a big 10, don't we? Ports for an ore to pop. Okay. Eight happens. I think what we're going to do is actually grab the sheep here. Which is interesting. Just because I'm monoing the 11 when it rolls. Most of my rolls put me over. So there's not much I can do about that. Six happens. He's going to put for a brick. It's a pretty bad port there. Settles though. Seven happens. Yeah, I mean, five is decent. Even though I'm stealing wheat. We'll just pop here. And chill. More knights is perfect. Good chance he didn't get a knight. 
He does. Five rolls. So now we'll block the nine. Although I think 10's about to pop. Oh God, yeah, I, I knew it. I called it. I'm okay with this, right? I'll just keep the pressure on. VPs aren't bad. Yeah, the, the road's actually good as well. This is fine. Uh, so 11 is actually a really bad roll here because it gives him two devs. I don't like that. Nine is good. There we go. We like that. He does port for a dev. Six happens. Uh, he's got a lot of wood here. I think we just go ahead and do this. And we take the road. Thing is, I'm giving him an ore here. I don't love that, but there's a really good chance it's not a VP. Yep, there we go. No VP. Could mono ore. Doesn't. Decides to pop. Most likely, that's seven points for him. Seven happens. Tempted to block the 11. But there's not much wheat. Another knight is beautiful. He rolls seven. This is fine. Damn. Steals the ore. I think we get sheep or ore here. Okay, wheat. Never mind. Four rolls. Am I ever just settling here? Okay, let's take the settle. I'm okay with it. Still got this mono in my back pocket as well. Ten is massive. He's got an ore from me, right? So 11, we definitely mono here. We just take the ore here. Nice. And we will just pop again with the ore, just in case he has the mono. Nice. Six. All right. Eight. We just leave the wheat in our hands. If he wants to mono wheat, he monos the wheat. Nine is a, such a massive roll here. Okay, he's gonna buy a dev. He could be at eight points here. Definitely, seven rolls. We hit the nine. We get a wood, which is subtle. I think we just keep going in the deck though, really. Everything's good for us. We wait for fours and stuff. Yeah, the yop's fine. Uh, I can play road builder here, just to try lock up the road. Yeah, I think we do. He steals wheat. Oh, big block. Big nine block. We do this. Hit the five, even though he just stole the wheat. Eight rolls. This is fine. Seven. He blocks nine. Steals the sheep. I mean, he really could be getting all the VPs as well, which sucks. Seven is big. Sheep. Uh, this is an awkward hand because he robs me, steals an ore potentially, which would really suck. Very awkward hand, but I still think we have to pop here. Yeah, we got to take that risk. The yop, double yop. All right, definitely probably has the mono here. So we need to make sure we spend our cards. Ah, man. I can pop twice here. It's probably, the, it's probably the way. If he has mono, he has mono. Yep, this is the way. Knight. Knight is fine. Five. Nine happens. Okay, I think I'm gonna play an aggressive knight here for a sheep and pop again. Block six, nice. Pop again. Yeah, we really needed a VP there. And now the mono is not that bad. Eight and six are big rolls here. Four as well. Hasn't popped in a while. Big ro roads out there. There's the six. We go again. Give me another VP. Yeah, okay. We should have this game now. Two settles. Should come fairly easily. We've got the knight in our back pocket. He most likely has two VPs and a Monopoly. Okay. Big win, only plus nine. That's the first plus nine I've ever had. So that is something for sure. 14 minute game is what I'm talking about, guys. Like if I lose that game, I'm just running out of time. But huge win, just a very clean game. Definitely suited toward, towards first pick. 
Oh, but that was low-key stressful. He didn't have the mono. He had straight up three VPs. Yeah, so he's pretty much losing at that point. No seven outs is beautiful. And yeah, guys, I mean, let's go ahead and look at the leaderboard. Okay. All right. Oh, man, I really want to hit 2,500, but I can't. I can't right now. I got to wait to see what Rayman does. Ah, we'll be back once he finish, once he plays a game. I'm sure he's about to play a game sooner or later. But man, this is absolutely spicy, guys. Oh, there's 35 minutes left and I don't know like what he's doing. I don't know if he's online. I don't know if he's going to play another game. I probably have to just play another game once it gets to like 15 minutes left or something, right? The thing is, if there's 15 minutes left, it's going to be so hard for him to play two games in the space of 35 minutes, especially because I just played one right now and I won. And let's say he gets plus nine for his game. That'll be what, 88? And then plus nine again is, oh, it's, it's 97, guys. Oh no, he's going to be one point ahead of me. Really, really, I just need, if he loses a game, it's over. You lose like 21 points. So... That might be it, guys. If he loses a game, I guess I'll play another one because I really do want to hit 2,500. But I also, I, I also really want to keep this number one spot. So we'll see what happens, guys. Yeah, here we go. Guys, we're back literally a minute after I just ended that video. He won his game literally just then. So, oh my gosh. Looks like we're going back in. He also played a 16-minute game. It's really going to be whoever loses first. There's not much I can say, guys. We just got to keep winning. If we come second, we come second. It is what it is, guys. You know what? There's actually, there's actually a good chance that we can match up with him. Because he just finished his game then. Uh, here we go, guys. This could be this could be me versus Rayman in this game. There's, I think there's a pretty good chance it should match us up, right? Let's do it. We're matched up with Rayman. This is it. This is the game for number one. Here we go, guys. Couldn't have done it any better here. 845 is really good here. Yeah, 845 is really good. There just is no way to get brick, really. Uh, we lose this, it's over. So, 845 does happen. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big pick here. There's not much I can do. I can take 694, 9510, but even then he's got coordinated eight. And double wheat over me. Oh, gee, damn. Couldn't have had a worse board, really, to be honest. I need to win this race, don't I? The thing is, two eights just ends me. I need a 10, basically. Uh, I don't think I can play the... The 694, 9510. I think I gotta take the double or here and just pray. And get, maybe get into, six, get into 6511, have double wheat. Double shape, double ore with the brick and stuff. And then circle back to 810. Basically, I'm just going to play all weight shape. I need, I'm just hope, praying that I get 6511. You really should just take some 8510 into 843 and it's going to be a bit of a nightmare for me. The wood port as well. Damn. Damn, guys. We're gonna have to pull something out here. One early 10 is what we need. 10, nine, six. I think the extra ore is important. Uh, I mean, maybe I, he's gonna actually go A4, three. Yeah, so two eights is the subtle. Oh, if there was ever a game for the eights not to roll. 12, 11, five. Four is not good. There it is. One more eight and I'm done. Six. Can we get a nine and a 10 guys? He actually builds a road into there. That's really interesting. Seven. Three is good. 11. Oh, there's the eight. So that's settle if he wants it. I don't know about this road. He could have cut me off, right? 
Uh, I guess he had to play something for his hand. So 010s, 09s, so that's obviously not ideal. Buys a dev. Five happens. Just please don't roll another eight. Tears the 10. Uh, Yop or Road Builder sucks here as well. Damn it, he got something good. Damn. Ah, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Yeah. Mono first dev. There's not much I can do, guys. Maybe I can get a quick city. 9 4 11 happens. He might hold. Yeah, he does. Oh, God. Nine. He's gonna settle here, you'd think. He might even just, yeah, I think he still has road settle, so it's either way, I've just lost. He takes that settle. I do roll seven. I could steal brick or ore here, which is both really good. Probably have to hit six, no? I get a wait. I gotta hold. I have to hold, right? I need a city. Nine. Ten does happen. I gotta go for this, yeah? Oh, this is so bad. The thing is, holding here feels so bad as well. Do I get an awe from him? I think I do. He popped one dev. Has there only been one four? I think there's only been one four. If I get a VP, it's just done though. All right, it is what it is. Six rolls. All right, so four happens. I think we have to. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. He's about to roll seven. He blocks my 10. It needs to happen, guys. It needs to happen. Thing is, if he doesn't block 10, it's a bit awkward. Because 4 is pretty good for me. Thing is, he needs the 4 right now. Okay, that's probably the best situation for us, but 6 also hasn't rolled in ages. We need a 10. We need a 10. 7 is beautiful. He got wood from me. We block 6 here. The 6 has not rolled in ages. We need some of the rolls here. Come on. Big roll. Big roll. Big roll. We can still do this. It's such a huge, it's still a huge roll for him though, actually. He pops once. Need that to be a VP. Need that to be a VP. All right, roll me something good. Roll me a 10. Nine is fine. Okay, this is good. I think I just have to go again here. Uh, losing this. I mean, I need, I'd need a six and a five. And I'm stealing what from him? Maybe a sheep. Most likely wood. Huh. I think I just have to go again. Nice. Yop is really good. Nice. Six block. Probably have to use the Yop here. He settles. So no night. VP would be nice for us. Five does happen. What can I do here, man? What should I do here? <sighs> I need to get to 810. That's also something. I think I'm just taking two brick here. Yeah. I don't need a port for the ore. These five rolls are good. I got to hold this brick, I think. Don't, not the brick. Please, not the brick. Please, have mercy on the brick. Have mercy on the brick, man. Please, I beg. I beg. Nice, nice, nice. Not a great block as well, to be honest, I feel. Obviously six is three cards, which is nice. Did he hold the knight, guys? Nah, I gotta go for it. Wait, four. Nice, we're getting the knights, which is good. 12, roll 10. Where are the 10s at? Two eights is a really big block. 
He's very close to a city here. Seven is massive. I think we just hit the six, no? Wood. Really wanted the ore there. Not worth the aggressive knight, I don't think. That's his city right there. Now it gets a bit more spicy. Because four is going to be a city roll. Four and five is a city. Four and five is nearly a city for me, but nearly is a big difference. We really need eight, ten here. Even ten, eleven, three. The advantage I have is that I have the, the shape. So threes are going to be really bad rolls. Please, not the ore. Please, I need the ore here. Oh, not the ore of the brick, man. Oh, God. So bad. Such a bad roll, man. I think we just keep it on the six here. Nine happens. <sighs> Should build the road. The thing is eight, I think, plows. Yeah, that's not good. That's my three to one gone. Really unfortunate. Maybe I just block eight. I just, I just don't want him popping is the issue. <sighs> That's road path pretty much gone for me. I can come in for three, 10, 11. The thing is the eights are just death and I've had zero tens here. Probably just have to do this. No more knights for me either. Four rolls, that's another city for him. Yep. And really the eights are, are the death. I gotta go for this now. I need my tens to show up here. Oh God. So multiple devs here. He settles three to one. This is where it gets really bad. Yep. Wheat port happens as well. Four does roll, but I think at this point it's too late. I almost need to hold here for a six. Yeah, I got to pass. Does he block six? Dude, 10 has not rolled. Okay, on cue. Another city. Okay, very on cue. Let's do this. I mean, an eight roll still probably gives it to him, no? We've got to save our weight here. Seven, this is good. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God, yeah. That's what happens. We have to do that now. Two. I think we're going to get plowed here. Maybe there was something better I could have done. I mean, obviously the mono first, first turn hurts a lot. Three. Yeah, that's it. It's honestly worth just conceding, isn't it? Yeah, I got to just resign. Minus 20 guys. <sighs> Damn. I don't think I can get three games done. Yeah, really unfortunate. I mean, This really doesn't help. Six threes, the thing is, uh, what he needs is sheep. And three rolled more than, than six did. And of course, eight gives him all the roads. Mm, I think either way I'm losing, no matter what setup I take. Or I guess maybe instead of blocking the six, I can block the eight. But I'm blocking it based on the balanced dice, right? So... Six is going to roll and eight's supposed to cool down a little bit, but that's just not how it went, unfortunately. Yeah, this this really killed us. I think ultimately this this eight rolling eight times. And like, yeah, 10 shows up there, but it rolled two times in a row when the game was already over. And one of the 10 rolls, my brick was monoed. I don't know, guys. It's just, I mean... The first pick there, I think it's whoever gets the first pick wins, to be honest. Once you're, once you're playing like these, these kind of players, you know, we're both highly skilled to the point where it doesn't really matter. It's just whoever gets the first pick. Whereas if I play other people, maybe I can get away with it a little bit. But not against, not against Rayman. 
<sighs> it is what it is, guys. It's unfortunate to end the season like that, but at least at least it was good that we got to play. You know, it was one versus two for the number one spot in the end. And, you know, I'd much rather it to be like that than to just play against some random, lose against some random, or, you know, he wins against some random. At least I had somewhat had it in my control. And to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And he he's uh, proven that he is one of the best multiple times. So all we can do is be happy for our efforts. Uh, I appreciate everyone that kept up with this series. I'm sorry that I couldn't get the job done for you guys. We got to just keep moving forward. We'll do a little review once the season officially ends and we can check the stats and whatnot. But yeah, guys, I appreciate you all. I love you all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.